Hey there, y'all. Punk here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So I got here a stack of packs. Now these are pretty cool in my mind. Definitely bring me back to my childhood. 1979 Topps Yankees Burger King cards. Now you got three cards free with any French fry purchase. That's where things were getting things were getting really tough between uh Burger King and McDonald's competition wise, uh trying to get kids in with the with McDonald's doing uh or starting to try to do happy meals to try to get kids in and Burger King trying to do baseball cards and uh Burger King actually did baseball cards in several markets. Um Philadelphia also, if I'm not mistaken. They have some Phillies packs out there I've seen. Uh they also did cards in seventy eight. Those I remember as well. The seventy eight cards were a little bit different than the um than the tops cards in some cases. Um slightly different poses or stances. a uh, couple I could be wrong, but it might have been a couple of different players. The numbering system though is the way that you knew the difference between Burger King and regular Topps cards. Now, I could tell you, as a, as a collector during the 80s, um, coming across Burger King cards in somebody's collection, uh, threw them out. They were considered trash. It wasn't something that any of us wanted to see. It's not something that we wanted to collect. We wanted the actual authentic. And looking back, you know what? It might have been pretty cool to keep some of those. Anyway, let's get open in here now. There's three cards in every pack, and they were given out free with any French fry purchase. Now, back in 79, I don't know what the price of French fries was back then, but uh, I was just looking at a um, a picture of a McDonald's menu uh, from 1970, from 1979 or 1980, uh, where the small French fries were 35 cents, and the large ones, I think, were 59. It's a little bit of a blurry picture. So Burger King was probably about the same. So fifty nine cents, and you you got a free pack of three baseball cards. I, I I don't know if they were given out in all markets or just New York and Philly or how they were trying to do that. But anyway, I don't I do remember getting a few packs. I was not a big Burger King fan. I wasn't a big McDonald's fan back then either. But then again, they did not have the crazy menu that they have now. They didn't need pictures. That's for sure. All right, so that's the propaganda card and the checklist card. Starting off with Roy White. Goose Gossage, our first Hall of Famer there. That's a really nice card, pick, really nice picture. Number 10, you can see a different numbering system. There's no other way that you could tell that these were done by Burger King. And Mick the Quick. Let's get the Gossage into a frapper, and I'll top load the Hall of Famers here. He gets a top loader. Absolutely. Now, to me, the ones I'd be looking for would be the Reggie and the Munson. Those are the two, to me, that uh, would be the best. And, yeah, we a good chance of getting them in nine packs here. Uh, there's 22 cards in a set, so pretty good chance of getting at least one of them, if not both of them. All right, there we go. Pretty good chance of putting together the entire set. Nine packs. I mean, that would have been nine boxes of fries back then. <laughs> All right, got pack number two going here. Hmm. Plastic is definitely tougher than standard card packs. Plastic. <laughs> Either that or my fingers are not working as, as good as my 1979 fingers would have been. All right. Again, our team card. I, th I, could rem I seem to remember that there was a general team card. Oh, yeah. There was a general team card. All right. We got Bucky Dent. Every Red Sox fan favorite. Now, that's different than the 79 Dent card. Fred the Chicken Stanley, and our Yankees team card with Bob Lemon as the manager. That's pretty cool. I'll throw that up on the wall. I should throw Bucky Dent up on there just for the Red Sox fans that watch. <laughs> All right, 
get this next pack open here. Now I am saving one of the packs that I got in this. It was actually a 10 pack lot that I picked up. Catfish Hunter Hall of Famer on top. That's going to go in my Shopify store. Uh, Hall of Famer packs that I'll be putting up on there. So somebody else might have a chance to open one of these. I'll uh, watch the channel and picking it up on, picking it up on the store. Got Tommy John, Sweet Lou Pinella, and Thurman Munson. All right, we got the Munson card. Very nice. Very nice. Nicely centered, too. Very cool. Very cool. Back is not as well centered. Top to bottom is funky there, but that's a that's, that's great card for me to find, I'd say. Got the Munson. Now we just got to find the Reggie. That's a nice one. Put him up next to the goose. All right, let's get another pack of these opened. Got Roy White up on top there. Can almost smell the French fries on these. They I don't I don't I don't know. Nineteen although they might still have the same smell from nineteen seventy nine to now. Burger King, McDonald's, all of that. Okay, we got Roy White, another goose, very cool. And Mick the Quick, Mickey Rivers there, very cool. All right, let's get another frapper on that goose. I'm just going to frapper that one up. I'm not going to top load it. The other one's more nicely centered. More nicely. Yep. It's great English. Going to have to go back to 1979 and learn some grammar. It's Mo Betta. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to knife you, Greg Nettles. Okay, there we go. Couldn't find the seam. That's also probably why there's so few PSA 10s of these cards available. Opening these packs, definitely hazardous. You got Greg Nettles, Cliff Johnson, and Chris Chambliss, first baseman from then. And our propaganda card, get the next one going. Okay, there we go. That one opened cleanly. Now you're talking 40-some-odd-year-old plastic here. And they were freebies, so it probably was not the best plastic that they could use to wrap them. Got Fred Chicken Stanley there again. Got Figgy, Figueroa, and Jay Johnstone. Not the greatest pack, but even then I would not have been too thrilled with that. Still looking for the Reggie. Found Greg Nettles, got the dent. And we got the entire infield. So that was pretty cool so far. Just got to fill out the outfield. We got pitcher, catcher. Gidry's another one. I wonder if Gidry's in this. Is he? I think so. Gossage there. Yep, Gidry's card number four. So we haven't seen Ron Gidry either. All right, we got Louis Tiant, Tommy John, and Sweet Lou Pinella again. All right, two more packs left here. I hope y'all are enjoying this one. I'm I'm enjoying this this like serious throwback. 1970s baseball cards, first of all. Yankees, second of all. Burger King, eh, well, whatever, but definitely weird ball, odd ball packs. Not stuff that you're gonna commonly find out there. 
Not that I know of, anyway. All right, got the Bob Lemon card again. Figgy one more time, and Jay Johnstone one more time. All right, last pack try for the Reggie or for the Gidry. Reggie or Gator, here we go. Now, I do definitely appreciate all subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Seems like, uh, again, just looking at statistics, something like 90% of the people that watch my videos don't subscribe or have not subscribed at the time of the, watching that video. I I mean, I guess that's cool, but uh, I, I definitely appreciate it if you subscribe or comment or something so I know you're out there. Got Louis Tiant, Tommy John, and Sweet Lou Pinella one more time. So that's it on these. Got Thurman Munson, couple gooses, team cards, very cool. Didn't get the Reggie, didn't get the Gator, but that's all right. Uh, I'll see if I can get my hands on a couple more of these, or 78s if I can sometime. That would be cool, too. Anyway, once again, hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all take care, stay well, stay blessed. Bunkle out.